Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can cancel subscriptions on Xbox. However, before we do get started, if you do find this video helpful, be sure to drop it a like. It really does help me out a lot. And if you want to see more tutorials, be sure to subscribe as well. And that being said, let's hop into the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to go into your settings. And then under account, you want to go over to the right and click subscriptions. After this loads up, you should be able to see everything that you're subscribed to. So I'm subscribed to Xbox Live Gold and also the Xbox Game Pass. So today I want to cancel my Game Pass subscription. So what you want to do is you want to just simply click that. It's going to put you onto this page right here and you're going to have the option to change how you pay but what you want to click is view and manage subscription. So this is going to open a Microsoft Edge tab and over here you can see all the services and subscriptions. So my Xbox Live Gold and then over here I can see my Xbox Game Pass for console. So in order to cancel the subscription you want to go on to manage over here to the right. You want to click that, <clears throat> wait for this whole thing to load up again. And then under payment settings, on the right side, you should be able to see blue writing. And basically where it says upgrade on console, you want to click this. And where it says console over here, click that. And this is going to pop up, are you sure? You'll lose access to your Xbox Game Pass for console subscription on 11th August 2019. When we don't charge again. And that's what you want to do. So you simply click confirm cancellation and over here your Xbox Game Pass for console subscription will not be charged again. And basically this means that you have been that you have cancelled your membership. Here says if you change your mind it could turn on recurring reoccurring billing. But basically as I said, if you have a subscription or something, it will you will have the subscription until the official ending date. Um, so as I said over here, mine's ending on the 11th of August, so I'm going to have it till the 11th of August, but after that it's not going to charge the credit card again. Okay, so this would be about it. If you guys have any questions or anything, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below, but that would be about it, uh, and see you guys.